do some math for fun, and this is about limit. We are going to find a and b so that the limit as x approaching the zero, square root of ax plus b, and then minus 3. All over x, this is going to be 1 third. What can we do? Well, at the moment, whenever we're dealing with limit, we should always plug in this value into all the x into this expression, right? That's the part we get when we do that. So, first step, we are going to plug in x is equal to 0 into this expression. And when we do that, we will have square root of a times x is 0, and then plus b, and then minus 3, all over in the denominator, we also have 0. And of course, we can do a few things right here. Uh, a times 0 is 0, so we have square root of b only, and then minus 3, all over 0. And now, we have a 0 in the denominator already. And this is about doing limits, right? So you cannot say this is undefined. Because remember, whenever we are dealing with limit, there is an indeterminate form. And in fact, that's what we have to use in order for this to be a finite value at the end. In fact, the top also should be a 0. The only way now, because we have the 0 on the bottom already, the only way now for this to end up to be a 1 third or any other like finite value is that the top is also 0. Therefore, we must have, okay, let me just must have the top square root of b minus 3 to be 0 as well. And once again, whenever we have 0 over 0, when we're doing limits, that's possible. And we can end up with a finite value at the end, right? If the top is not 0 in this case, let's say the top is equal to 5, 5 over 0, we will end up with infinity. That's certainly not one third. So once again, the top right here, we must have equal to zero as well. And when you do that, you see square root of b is equal to positive three, and square both sides, we know b has to be nine, and we got a value already. Once again, when we're doing the limit, when you have a zero on the bottom, you know it's pretty bad already. Let's have a zero on the top as well, zero over zero, when we are doing limit, in fact, we have a much better chance to get a finite value at the end, right? So that's how we can set an argument, b has to be 9. And now what? Well, now, let's see, this time, let me just write this down. The limit as x approaching to 0, square root of ax. a I still don't know, so I can put on ax only. b is 9, so I'll put on plus 9, and then minus 3. And this is all over x. Well, let's do a typical things now. I know this is going to be one third, but now, how about us multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate because that's the usual strategy, right? Therefore, let's do that. Multiply the top and bottom by square root of ax. This is my a, this is my 9. ax plus 9. That's the first part, but then we'll change this to be a plus. That's the conjugate, right? And we do this on the top, and we also do the same on the bottom. Square root of ax plus 9 plus 3, like this. And let's do it real quick to see what we have. Let's write down the limit again as x approaching to 0. And keep in mind, whenever we're doing this kind of things, the bottom, just leave it. Because we are trying to fix the top only, right? The conjugate was only fixing the top. The bottom, we just leave it. So we leave it as x times this square root of a x plus 9 and then plus 3 like this on the top when you multiply out the conjugate you know this time that is just a x plus 9 and then you do minus this square a square minus b square right so a square is just this b square is just 3 square which is 9 and now what 9 minus 9, cancel out. On the top, you have just ax. And this x and that x cancel each other out, right? So, this right here, let me write it down. This is the limit as x approaching to 0. On the top, we only have an a. On the bottom, we have square root of ax plus 9. And then plus 3 after that. Okay? And we know we have to set this equals to one third. So of course I will set this to one third for you guys. And now what? Let's plug in zero into this x again. And 
And once again, we have to set this equals to one third. And of course, you do whatever you want to do right here, okay? And you end up with a equals to two. Two over six is one third. And there we have it right here. Let me write down the answer. A is equal to two and B is equal to nine. And of course, if you want to work this out, again, the limit as x approaching the zero, square root of 2x plus 9, and then minus 3 all over x, you will end up with 1 third. And that's it. <laughs>